What's up guys, today I'm going to break down and explain the Cosmos Network and show you how to install and set up the Kepler Wallet so you can explore the Cosmos ecosystem. Let's get into it. Okay, first let me explain why Cosmos is so powerful and why, in my opinion, it has the potential to be one of the top 5 projects in all of crypto. Cosmos is a very ambitious project. Its goal is to allow all blockchains to interconnect with each other. Essentially, it wants to become the Internet of Blockchains. The creators of Cosmos envision the Cosmos blockchain allowing almost any blockchain network to share data and transact securely with each other through what would be a deeply interconnected and secure network. Let's take a basic look at how Cosmos is designed. Cosmos' design was inspired by a system architecture model called Hub and Spoke. Essentially, it's a design where one or more connected relays are used to connect other also connected networks. Cosmos took this architecture and refined it into their own unique design, which allows them to achieve interoperability and security. Simply put, Cosmos has two network types, hubs and zones. Hubs allow for secure and stable communication between different zones. Zones are individual blockchains that connect to and communicate with one another through the hubs network. Zones can be purpose-built for whatever the creator of that zone wants. You can have specific zones built for NFTs like Stargate, or zones that were built to expand and integrate DeFi like Juno or Evmos. All of these zones are able to talk to and share data through the Cosmos Hub network securely thanks to the hub and zone architecture. What makes this so powerful is that a zone chain only needs to connect to one or more hubs to be able to connect to many other zones. The most notable and first hub in the Cosmos network is the proof of stake Cosmos hub, which uses the Atom token to transact and which can be staked to participate in on-chain governance as well as receive airdrops. Staking is when you lock your Atom tokens with a validator in order to earn a portion of the transaction fees they get. If you want to stake, you're going to need a wallet which I'm going to show you how to get later in the video, so make sure to stay to the end if you want to see that. To really understand staking though, you first have to understand validators. Validators are users that run specialized equipment that is responsible for validating and minting blocks on the network. What this means at a basic level is they make sure and sign off that all transactions on the network are correct. To be a validator, you have to be one of the top 150 validators by stake, meaning the top 150 validators with the most combined Atom tokens locked as collateral to get to validate transactions. Validators also vote on and implement changes and upgrades to the network. When you stake your Atom, you are hopefully staking with someone that votes in alignment with your own vision for how the network should move forward. So, like I said earlier, validators and the people that stake to them earn transaction fees from validators confirming that transactions on the network are correct. The reason a validator must lock up funds is so that any validator that misbehaves by double spending or being offline for an extended period of time gets their atom and the atom of the individuals staked with them slashed, which means destroyed. Now, let's go back to the Cosmos design for a moment. One of the most crucial aspects of the design is the Tinderman engine. Tinderman allows the network to reach consensus without side effects, even in the presence of malicious or unresponsive members of the network. Tinderman offers developers a robust consensus layer that is one part of what makes developing a Cosmos chain much less labor intensive. Now, the main thing that has been making Cosmos so popular with developers and why you see more and more Cosmos blockchains being created is the development of the Cosmos Software Development Kit, or Cosmos SDK for short. This is a set of modular components that developers can use to build a specialized blockchain application to their exact specifications. With the development of the SDK, developers now have the tools to quickly create Cosmos compatible blockchains with pre-built components in the SDK, like for example, proof of stake governance. This allows developers to spend less time building the major functional layers of the blockchain, letting them spend more time creating and developing the applications or software and growing the community. If you remember, earlier I spoke about the vision of Cosmos being the internet of blockchains. Well, this is now becoming possible because of the Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol, or IBC for short. The IBC allows the individual zones to connect to one another through the Cosmos hub. The IBC at a basic level is a set of rules that governs the exchange of data between different blockchain networks. This allows you to exchange tokens and data between any blockchain connected to it. A great way to visualize this is to visit the map of zones. If you go to the map of zones.com, you can see all the different connections that are being made 
between the different zones and hubs throughout the Cosmos ecosystem. Each one of these lines leading away from the hubs represents a connection to another zone. Pro tip, Map of Zones is a great place to understand the growth of any zone you're interested in. By clicking a zone, you can see all the zones and hubs that is currently connected with through the IBC. You'll also see stats here for IBC transfers in and out, which is a great way to measure zones activity and adoption. It's not the only way though, but that's a discussion for another video. Okay, so now you know the basics of what Cosmos is and why it's so powerful for users and developers. Now, if you wanna get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is create your own Cosmos compatible wallet. The most popular one is the Kepler wallet. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and get started with one of these. First, you're gonna to head to kepler.app and click the install Kepler for Chrome button. On this page, you're gonna select Add to Chrome, and then if you get this notification, you're gonna select Add Extension. Once the extension is installed, regardless of what browser you're using, you should get a similar notification letting you know the install is complete. Now, click on the extension. Select Create New Account if this is your first Kepler wallet, which, if you're watching this video, it probably is. This next part is incredibly important. Write down the mnemonic seed phrase and make sure you never share it with anyone. You can choose either 12 or 24, with the latter being more secure than the former. Also, choose an account name and password, and when you're finished, click Next. On this page, you're going to need to enter your phrase to prove that you have it stored somewhere safe. Once you're done, you should see this page to let you know you're all set. Clicking the Kepler extension will now bring up your wallet. Here, you can see what chain you are currently connected to, the total dollar value of your tokens, your staked and non-staked Atom tokens, deposit and send tabs, plus your expected stake reward, APR, and a stake button. At the top, clicking the down arrow next to Cosmos Hub will give you a list of all chains connected to IBC. More are available to connect to beyond this list, but they can be added in beta. Now, all you need to do is add some Atom and you're good to go. You can do that by copying the address by clicking here or by selecting the deposit tab and scanning the QR code. Once you have your Atom in your wallet, you can now stake to earn rewards while helping to secure the network. To do that, click the stake button. That will bring you to the Cosmos Hub staking page. Here, you can choose a validator to stake to and start earning rewards. Pro tip, don't choose one of the 0% commission validators if you want airdrops. Not financial advice though. Click the manage button and then delegate once you've selected your validator. Be aware that staking will lock your funds. Once you decide to unstake, it will take you 21 days to unlock those funds. Choose how much you want to stake and select delegate. Then approve the transaction. That's it, you're all good to go. Now that you're staking Atom, you might qualify for some airdrops. Next, you should check out any of my Cosmos airdrop videos. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, we can keep talking about getting more coins.